heading upstate. Okay, so it's not me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you're making this impossible. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was me. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Mike. And I'm Alec. And we have a special guest today. Hi everyone, I'm Blake and I went to residency with Alec. We love Blake and have used her as a resource kind of throughout the process and she's been like so kind and would text us back about our weird questions. One of the questions that we get a lot is like, where do you start with this process? So the first doctor that you really go to for us is an infertility doctor or an REI. So we wanted to bring Blake onto the show. So show, it's a show. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's fine. It, it is kind of a show. It's. I mean, I feel like I'm on a show right now. I know. I mean, I feel like I'm with two celebrities. Oh, oh my okay. god! The Mike and Blake show. <laughs> We're representing Jersey. That's Jersey true. We do have the Jersey strong. representation. Yeah. Okay. I'm from Maryland. So we have a real fertility doctor with us. Can you like? I feel like most people don't know what IVF really is. Can you explain what it is? Yes. Yeah, so IVF stands for in vitro fertilization, which is making an embryo outside of the body. The first part is stimulating the ovaries to make eggs. Human reproduction is extremely inefficient. Every month, only one egg grows, even though there's usually about 20 eggs that are in a cohort each month. So when you do an IVF cycle, you wanna stimulate the ovaries with FSH, which stands for follicle stimulating hormone. In a normal cycle, one of these grows and ovulates. In an IVF cycle, we give very high levels of FSH to make all of the eggs grow equally on both sides. So in a fertile young woman, you know, we might get all 20 of these eggs to grow. Once they're at a certain size that we think will have a mature egg, we then give a trigger shot and this causes all the eggs to ovulate into the follicles. We then do a procedure where we put a needle in through the vagina and we aspirate the fluid out of each of the follicles and that's how we get all of the eggs and we look at them under a microscope. We then fertilize them with sperm in the lab. This is the part where we come in. Yeah. I think I wanted to ask you, like, what are all the factors that contribute to that kind of precipitous decline yeah. from... Wait, from what? From, from, from eggs, eggs to, to Yeah, so we're gonna retrieve 20 eggs in a healthy young woman, maybe 17 of these are mature. Then the next stage is we're gonna see which of these fertilize. You might expect, you know, maybe 12, 13 of these to fertilize. So the next stage is to see if they grow out into that blastocyst stage of the embryo. And at that point, you might have gone down to seven or eight embryos now. The last stage is if you do pregenetic implantation screening. In an ideal young fertile woman, you might end up from 20 eggs to get five normal embryos and that would be a good outcome. I mean, the biggest thing that factors in is the age of the woman. What about well. us and our young, healthy <laughs> sperm? So, well, like, actually, does that actually There matter? is, sperm does age. We do see that as men age, the sperm quality goes down. Ready? I'm scared. Ooh. It's gonna be a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter, it's but it still exciting. matters. You think it's a girl. I, think I just a have a feeling it's a girl. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Another boy. <laughs> what the hell? All right. I have all nails. Okay, now I think one question we definitely wanted to ask you is because- I'm um, I know, no, me too. No, no, no. <laughs> You do a quick exam. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We just found out that our eighth embryo is also male. So we, <laughs> we have seven, seven males, males total, and one, one female, female embryo. Yeah. And crazy. we thought that that was crazy. Yes. And we yeah. wanted to ask you how unusual that is. That's, that's very unusual. <laughs> we would typically expect like a 50 50 split in male female. Um, so that is just a random, very strange. <laughs> Result that you do have. We're just gonna be a boy family. But I, I do think it means you're just destined to have little boys. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna be great. I, I really, a I little like basketball team. A little basketball team. <laughs> Riley, our cat, is yeah. really the rain queen of the house. Yeah, lots of boys. Hey. 
we're officially Elevate Boys now. We got all the swag. Thank you, Kyle and Taylor. We appreciate it. We love it. Wear it out. Yeah. We also, um, we wear it all the time, actually. And we also got to meet the Elevate team in person at an event late last year. We didn't get to take any video of it, but I think one of the coolest things was meeting the gestational carrier team because one of the women on the team actually was a gestational carrier, which I think is like the, I mean, honestly, like how can you find a better person to be a coordinator for that? I think it put us at ease just to know that like she'd been through it. She was gonna be really thorough. Meeting the team was just, it was a pleasure. We're excited to get started on our journey to find our gestational carrier. Yeah, we gotta start looking. We wanna be pregnant by October. We gotta get the search on. We're still probably like close to a year from the transfer stage. We're oh, we have to have a, we have to get a match with the gestational <laughs> carrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if everything goes well. A little, a little. Yeah, just a little hiccup of like yeah. finding a carrier. Finding to carry yes, you want to carry a baby? I don't think that I am <laughs> capable of that. Um, Could you imagine you losing your abs? No, pregnancy? no. No. Well, that and the fact he doesn't have a uterus—it's <laughs> a major be, issue. That might be a little bit <laughs> more bigger of a factor. Issue. You said that um, the thawing pro or the freezing and thawing process is riskier for an egg than mm -hmm. it is for an embryo. Can you talk a little bit about like how you thaw the embryo and then like what the timeline is for transferring it? An egg is the largest single cell that the human body has. So again, it's one cell, whereas an embryo at this stage has about 100 to 200 cells, which makes it way sturdier when we thaw it. Um, the thawing process itself is very quick. It only takes about an hour. Like we say, usually it's like at least 98% chance that an embryo will survive a thaw. There are two big decisions that we have to make in the coming six months. You and Blake, are you next? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're gonna, they're gonna go on a side <laughs> show. Our <laughs> show, the Blake, show. And Mike, the Blake and Mike, and Mike show. show. Yeah, Raining nice from Prin Princeton, New Jersey. <laughs> Is there anything medically or sort of guidance that you would have? Obviously, like that's our decision to make, but what kind of guidance would you give a couple like ours in our situation? Yeah, I mean, this is a very personal choice to make. I know just from talking to both of you that all of your embryos are really high grade and high quality. You know, with the best, giving you the best chance at pregnancy, we would always say transfer the best quality embryo. Right. With that aside, if the female and male embryo are equal, equal grade, so they have the same percent chance of leading to a pregnancy, then it just becomes a personal choice. Right. And it's something that you guys need to decide. Yeah. I, we like she doesn't have an answer yeah, for Yeah, I so really I don't know. have an answer. I, I mean, mean, I was shocked you asked that yeah. question. <laughs> well, I think it's important to establish that like it is, it is, it is really yeah. up to us and there's yeah. nothing that like really comes into consideration medically when no. it comes to that decision. No. I basically was just hoping for an easy out that we wouldn't have to make this decision. The easy out is we tell the doctor to pick. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Which is or a trial. And make it random. And make it mm -hmm. random, yeah. But I do think some patients think it's nice to take away some of that control and just yeah. make it random again, but. But I also live with Michael <laughs> Del Vlahos, who is very Am I good type at A? <laughs> being a type A lovely human. I think I can let the doctor decide. I'll be fine. I'll be totally fine. Yeah. And you said that they can call, right? And like find out in the middle of this yeah. pregnancy. <laughs> I mean, I'll call like call it. <laughs> I give you Don't like... tell us the sex and then I call like 10 minutes later. Yeah, like, hey, what's the sex? Yeah, thing? literally. You can always ask what the sex is. But also like whose embryo did you transfer? I know. Well, that is always... another, yeah. I mean, are you guys gonna know who is going first? So you want the doctor to choose that too? We don't know. We have to make that. Well, yeah. we'll just put a poll at the bottom of the YouTube and people can <laughs> Vote. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining us, oh. Dr. Vessa. Oh, please. Thank, thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> You're supposed to say it with me. Wait, I, yeah, I mean, there I was forgot. no, there was no like lead yeah. time. Please, no, remember. please remember, this is why we are not social media. People. Okay, bye. No.